Hi guys, Nesty here. Welcome back. We have a small preview of two new monsters, Misha and Lucy. Let's first start with Misha. That's the three star one. Where do we have it? There. This is Misha, like some kind of teddy bear. Later as Evo 3, he's like Urza, named Grizzle. Let's first start with the fire one. Stat-wise, totally underwhelming. Skill-wise, it's okay, but nothing special. You have 30% uh, of own HP adrenaline. That's really a lot. But yeah, his stats are really bad. His extreme low defense will not help him to survive with this adrenaline. And these both skills don't really fit each other. Because with adrenaline, you normally want to have some kind of debuff there. So you can go from maximum tankiness. But like that you have to sacrifice some tankiness for offensive stats. And yeah, as you can see his yeah, his attack is weak as well. So yeah, the fire one is not that good. Let's go for the water one. Where do we have it there? He has a 50% chance to inflict two types of that for two turns. That's actually okay. That's really not bad. In the end, if you hit two debuffs, you will have four zaps for a 50% chance. Maybe if he will get books, this will go to like, let's say 70%, then he will be really good. The Merciless Strike, obviously is really really hard to use. The only thing where I can see it really useful will be the Golem B10 and I don't see that Water One strong enough to make enough use of this Merciless Strike. Maybe he will be usable in very high colors but yeah I think this that is not usable in colors. Not totally sure. The problem is no one is hitting higher colors than level 1 or at least not like let's say level 7, 8, 9, 10. It's far too expensive and far too hard to have 100% win rate. So for now I don't see the bear good enough but he might if he is getting books and a decent chance to land these zaps. Stat wise, balanced monster, not really good stats. 2000 attack, 2000 defense is really not enough. Let's go to the wood one. There. Biggest problem already. Taunt and Blind, two skills that are not really that strong. Taunt in general is a really weak skill in my opinion, even with the buff it got some time ago, maybe it's already 5-6 months or so, where the Taunt now decreases the damage you take, but it's still a skill that is not that strong. 80% chance for only one turn, obviously is really bad. Plus the blind, the blind is a okayish skill. I think four titans attack and defense down are by far more important than the blind. So yeah, I don't like that wood beer as well. Then we have the light beer. Stat-wise he's okay, not good. A lot of HP, but attack and defense are not that high. 
Stat-wise, he's okay. Skill-wise, I really don't like him. The problem is, his battle rush is dependent on crit rate. In general, on a light monster, crit rate is not that strong as on a dark monster. So this is a, a wasted slot, in my opinion. And another problem is, the shock needs crit rate, but he still don't have the chance of the crit rate. Like most monsters, if you land the crit, you will have a 100% chance to try debuffing. This one, if you land the crit, it only has a 70% chance. For one turn as well. Really not a good monster in my opinion as well. If you want to use him, I would go for HP defense crit rate. But yeah, in my opinion, this crit rate ruined that monster. And the dark one. I'm not sure how good this dark one can be. The vengeance got buffed recently. But yeah, it's like the first monster that might be able to use vengeance. We will have to test this. I personally think it's still not strong enough, that skill, to be useful. But he has really good stats. Extremely low recovery, enough defense, enough attack and even the HP is okay. So he might be usable somewhere, like in Arena or stuff like that. We have to test this. But yeah, I think it's still a mediocre monster. Gem-wise, I would go for a balanced build, I think. HP attack defense, or if you can't get enough crit rate, go for... Yeah, I would say HP attack crit rate. He already has a good defense and we want to make use of the vengeance skill. So obviously you need damage. You can go for a crit rate attack defense build as well, but he will get more effective HP from an HP gem. So yeah, I would go for HP attack crit rate and if you can give him enough crit rate with substats, I would go for HP attack defense, like a balanced build. But yeah, dark monsters in general have one big disadvantage in my opinion, if you use them in arena offense. Your opponents often have light monsters, so these light monsters often have really strong debuffs like shock for more than one turn like there are countless light cura light thor light valkyrie these are monsters you really face often in arenas so you normally want to get some resistance as well so i think the hp attack crit rate build should be the best with enough substats into resistance. Let's go for the Lucy. By the way, I think the Misha will be the new normal rebirth. I might be wrong, but I think it's the normal rebirth. And the Lucy will be the new exotic. I think that's already confirmed. I'm not 100% sure. We will see tomorrow. So let's see what the fire Lucy can do. Stat wise, we can see she's okay. Not too good. Low HP, not that much defense, but the attack obviously is good. HP Siphon, which regenerates her own HP and a seal for two turns. It's usable in my opinion. And she has the new leader skill, the crisis aversion. It's like, yeah, 
15 to 20 percent decreased critical rate in the arena. I'm not too sure about this leader skill. Yes, you decrease the opponent's quit rate, so you might not take too much damage. But I think if you buff your own monsters, it's much better because you know what you get. For example, what if you fight a team that is not relying on crit attacks? Then this leader skill will be totally useless. While if you buff your own monsters, you know what you get. Like, for example, if you use an HP lead, there is no chance that this will not be effective in a fight. So, yeah. If I would go for the fire one, and it's really not a bad one, especially with the cell feel, and the seal is really good in the current arena meta because you will face a lot of aggression monsters, debuffing monsters, and seal totally ruins them. I would personally go. Wait, is she on, is she on crit? No. I would go for either attack, attack, HP, or attack. HP defense because yeah her skills are really lacking and yeah I think I would go for attack attack HP because she can heal herself but you want to make use of the seal as well and then a good monster the water one there we go Stat wise, she's okay as well. Really, not that much defense. But for now, I don't like her skill set. 70% chance to attack down for two turns, and the same for 60% uh, chance. And again, the new leader skill. The problem is, she has no books. And without books, this is not that strong. And a lot of people that are fighting a fire titan so this in my opinion in general is a titan monster but the problem here is a lot of people already use monsters like indra and yeah this monster is a joke against a water indra so attack down in general is not that good in my opinion against the fire titan because there are a lot of monsters that have attack down while the element is lacking a bit of defense downers and with the water seedler they got rid of that so I don't think she is worth going for then we have the wood one stat wise totally bad and skill wise she's not that good as well zap only for two turns for one zap yes it's a high chance but only one zap and the active is the petrification which is in general not that strong so i wouldn't go for the wood one then we have the light one there stat wise again not that strong she has a lot of hp but yeah, no attack, not that much defense. It's okay, but not that much. And yeah, recovery is not important. The skill set in general is not a good skill set in my opinion. There are a lot of better monsters. The best example is the Light Thor. A lot superior to this monster. The problem of her is that she only has one turn, and that one turn is not enough. So I wouldn't go for the light one. There are a lot of similar monsters. So better avoid the light one. Let's see the dark one. The dark one actually is really interesting. As you can see, good HP pool, a lot of attack, and even the defense is okay. Plus, her skill set is really good. She has a passive hunter of 50% and the exposed weakness to all enemies 80% chance really good she obviously 
is the best of all these elements. A lot of people say she's totally OP. That's not my opinion. I think she will be really good, but she's far from OP. I think monsters like Dark Miho are totally OP, but yeah, she's really, really good in my opinion. In Arena, she will hit really, really hard. You will face a lot of light monsters where she can make full use of the Hunter passive, plus you get the elemental advantage. And it's not as good as a defense down like the Dark Seedlers, but Exposed Weakness obviously is a really good strong spell as well. So I think she's really good. Gem-wise, I would go... It, it depends for what content you want to use her. Some people most likely will try to make her make use of her in Dragon B10, because Dragon B10 is a light dungeon and she will hit really hard there. For that, I would try to go for a full glass cannon build. The problem is She's a dark monster. If in the first wave the light purse survives, she will most likely kill one of your Snow Whites. So you should try to kill the light purse in the first turn. The thing is, you can obviously do it with the defense down, but the resistance of the light purse is not that low. So this is already the first point where you can fail. So I think if I would try to make use of her, I would try to go for a full light, uh, for a full glass cannon build and try to one hit the light purse in the first wave. I'm not totally sure for the whole lineup she might be able to have a space there. And for Arena and CVC, I would go for attack crit rate HP or attack attack crit rate. She really hits hard. You ha only have to get some crit rate. And obviously summer resistance is really, really important for Arena to get resistance on these dark monsters because if you face these Thors, they are really, really tanky. And if they land the shock, the opponents will most likely focus the next turn and you will lose a monster already. So you have to fight the whole fight with three monsters. And yeah, this continues is the Thor might be able to hit another monster. This monster will go down in the next turn as well. And that stuff. And you want to avoid that. So you should go for a crit rate gem in my opinion with a lot of resistance if you can get that on a resistance set even better because it's not that easy to get some resistance from zero resistance yeah in general a really interesting monster most of you should go for this one because she will help you a lot in my opinion Obviously, there's other stuff in the update, like we will soon, I think, in like 10 days or something, get the Super Victoria. We already got some other stuff, like you are able to turn on or turn off the synergies, the loading screens are faster, or the loot box screens are faster, but this is not that important <coughs> obviously you will see these so yeah that's it for the preview hope it helped you a bit and see you soon guys ciao